All right, uh, we're back. Sorry it took me so long to post this next video. Uh, I'm gonna admit some truth here. I was playing Final Fantasy 15. So let's continue. We are at the point where we need this black cap here, here. and then a uh, roof perhaps. So I've got some images. So let's just duplicate this here, bring it over, duplicate it again. And remember to duplicate is you select and you hit control D, control D. And we'll give this a separate material. And in the attribute editor over here, choose the material and we're just going to select the checkerboard here to grab a file node and inside the image name bar we're going to open roof and we're going to do the same for this one favorite material Lambert to get this menu we are right clicking holding down dragging letting go on Lambert should already be on the new material checkerboard file and we're going to open what is it i think it's this one yeah yeah uh this one this is kind of what we have here's the cad file for it which we don't really need anymore uh, let's just move it back the way here so here's the real life version of this uh, you can see it's a couple things here that we have to pay attention to when we get to the texturing part one let's correct the size of this just a bit so select hit uh, hold V hold D and middle mouse drag right around that vertex on the bottom here. Let go. That will put the cursor there, which we will then. Nope. <laughs> Let's do something else. Let's go to vertexes. Right click, drag left, vertex. We'll go from the front view, space bar, left click hold down front view and we'll just get all these verts here go back to perspective let's just square them off a bit too much just a tiny bit and then we will select this and widen it there. Now we got a problem here. Our bevel, because of how we did it, this widen stretch. So let's just grab this face and then double click. From there, we will do this side as well. Double click, hold shift. And then you'll see here if you come to this angle, we're going to do the same stretch. Just going to pull it in a bit. That will give us a bevel back. Now, keep in mind this photograph shows something really good. These end caps are metal. So when you get to the texturing phase, let's keep that in mind. Uh, okay, now let's do this roof piece because even in a a territory with a full roof it has it underneath so let's make it anyway and uh, we can use this as the base for it so if we grab this control D we just move it up we'll hold V and D and 
then shake your middle mouse click like your mama gave you right here on this vertex and then select the arrow for the y-axis hold V and we're just gonna drop that there I'm trying to think if I like this start or not. Mm, not overly. So let's try something else here. Let's select these faces. Let's extrude. No, sorry. Let's actually duplicate this. Control D. And then we'll press Control H that will hide that duplicate we made because we're going to mess with this. So if we mess with this in a very serious way, we can still, we still have our uh, old clean one. So let's do it again. Control D, we'll hide that. Okay, from here, let's just select this, select this, double click. And then, really simply, hold Shift, right click down, and go to Extrude. And then we're going to offset it negatively so it spreads out and it's wider it's definitely wider for just by a bit so about that and then grab this edge grab this edge You hold R to go to your rotate or squat your um, scale tool, and we'll just bring these out a bit. And maybe if we come from the front, you can see now it's it's hanging down. So let's just um, let's go to the front view, and we'll bring it up a bit. There. So now what we did was we pulled it up so that it's following the curvature again. Now, select this face here, all the way around and hit delete. Okay, so select, select Hold shift and double click the next face. Delete. Grab this bottom section with a double click. Delete. And then select this. Select this. Select this. Very carefully double click that strip. And then come around the side. Select that. Select that. Double click this for shift. And then select this end cap here and hit delete. So you're left with this uh, conflicting geometry. You can see it, you know, shifting between each other, not knowing which to shoot. So if you just shift select. that whole row on the bottom and delete it. 
should be left with this uh, black square or rectangle. What we need to do is real simple. We're going to Alt Shift D, delete all the history, make it clean. And then you're going to hold right click, go up to edge, select it by double clicking the entire loop. Hold Shift, right click, and go all the way down to fill hole. Now from here, you've got this one big face with all these edges. You need to tidy that up. So we're going to hold Shift, right click, and go to multi cut. And then you're just going to left click and hold. That lets you place a vertex. But we want to line it up should snap right there. So snap it, left click, let go, right click to finish the edge. Left click and drag, snap, snap, right click. Left click and drag, left click and drag, right click. And just keep going down until all of these are good to go. Now we could have just done half and then mirrored it, but you'll see why I didn't do that quite yet. When you're done, just press Q, click off, go object mode, select, and then Alt Shift D to get rid of all the history. And then grab all the faces, sorry, grab the edge at least, extrude, Remember, shift, right click down, or if you have it on your shelf, just click it. And then we're just going to bring it up. Give it some height like this. We can let go for now. Now, if you want to get that piece you hid back, you should be able to press Control, Shift, H that will bring back the last hidden piece. If Control Shift H didn't work, open your outliner, which is right here, this little side by side, or you can go panels, or sorry, windows, outliner. And you get a little tear off here and find where you put it, Shift H. There you go. I actually don't know why this is all in groups. Oh yeah, we grouped it all to scale it. So, now we have this object. We don't need these faces in here like this. So you can, you can actually select these faces Go to Control, right click, two edges, two contained edges. That'll give you all these. And then you're going to Control, double click. That will subtract the selection here. Get rid of all these cross edges here. We don't need this, uh, this square and these tying off corners. And then you're just going to shift, right click, delete edge. Alt shift D, delete the history. And then double click this edge here, right click, go up to edge, double click the edge. And do the same thing, right click. Or sorry, shift, right click, fill hole. And you're going to do the same thing. Shift, right click, multi cut. And select the edge with left click, snap, left click, snap, right click. Left click, snap, snap, right click. Snap, snap, right click. Snap, snap, right click. Snap, snap, right click. Just go all the way down. Boom. 
Now we have a nice clean piece of geo. And it's a little taller than so let's do this. And now we're gonna left click here, this edge. It needs a peak. So we're gonna control, right click to edge ring, to edge ring and split. Boom. Put a edge loop right down the middle. And then you can select this with left click. Shift, double click. That'll give you this top edge, edge ring. And then press W. And just pull it up. Now if it looks a little funky, a little smooth, just uh, go to where is it here? Yeah, mesh display, unlock normals, mesh display, set to face. I use those quite a bit. I put them on my shelf. And delete the history. So now we need to bevel it to give it this uh, look here. And it looks like pretty much everything's beveled. So I'm just shift double clicking all these out edges. We don't need this bottom one. So you can control left click, control left click, control left double click. Control click so that you just have the cap and the supporting edges on the outside. And this top ridge here. So shift, right click, bevel. Give this funky looking piece of geometry. And just hold control, click on the word faction, and just drag it in. There you go. Alt Shift D. That'll clean it up. And there's the base Tori. That's pretty much it. That's a generic Tori. Sorry about that. So yeah, there's that. There's the top. Now let's create something for this little plaque to hang off. Like here. Uh, let's grab this face. And grab this face, shift, left click, double click, bring it up a bit, oops. Go to verts, control, right click, to vertices, to vertices. And just also grab this little triangle point on both sides. Just bring that up a bit more. It's going to come down it's going to come down there's two pieces of wood okay Let's change these around. Okay, let's use these edges as guidance. 
So we'll create the edges here. All I did was grab it. I grab the edge, control, right click, edge ridging utilities, edge ring split. And then for over here, I edge ring split. For over here, I just press G, repeat the last command. Because if that's our center point, actually that's too skinny. Let's just use these edges here as our guide. So create polygon cube. And just scale it up a bit, center it. V, little mouse click drag here. Uh, it has this odd shape to it. If you grab the top, hold shift and extrude. Shift right click, sorry, to extrude. Bring it up a bit. Yeah, let's go left click the edge here. Control edging, edging and split. Now we can grab these vertexes, bring them up a bit. We extruded right there. It's got this uh, strange lip. So if that's the shape of this piece, and it's smaller than that, going to bring it to the back here, the pivot point. That's W, V, D, hold it. Little mouse drag, that's our vertex snap. And I'm going to snap it here. Bring that down. And snap it there. So now, just want to see if that's long enough. Let's also grab these vertexes here. Bring them back down a bit. There we go. Because it was too steep. So now we have this piece. Let's go like that. And let's edge ring split like we normally do. Give this some multiple edge loops. Maybe seven, no, four. And it kind of has a recurve to it. So let's bring it down. The tricky part is, it's just doing the top. Grab all of the top. No, nope. sorry, let's do this. Just these middle parts. And then bring it down. Bring it down so that it sits just on the roof.
stretch it out a bit if you want. It's also kind of wider, so center the pivot again. That's uh, if you didn't put it on your shelf, center pivot is in modify center pivot. And we'll just stretch it out a bit. Duplicate, no. So these little pieces are just wood pieces. Look like they're nailed on. Just want to touch that because it hangs out the edge there. So now when we rotate it, or sorry, move the pivot to the corner here, we're going to rotate it so that it's the same angle and we can find that by grabbing this x rotation here so x 27 6.6 6, 6, 27 6.6 6, 6. and it's 2 center the pivot Sorry, snap it to the corner here, and then when you scale it up, it'll only push it down. Grab all the edges, bevel them, tighten up the bevel, delete history, Alt Shift D, and now we're going to duplicate it. object. If your thing, if your gizmo is not tilted with the object, select it and then go over here to access orientation. If you don't have this menu here and it looks like this, just double click this and it'll bring this up. Change the axis to object. So now this one is we snap the move to the vertex right there. We can snap the piece together and then move it up. Like that. Snap it to the bottom. Snap the whole piece to the top. kind of sits on top a bit. Yeah, like that. Except it sort of leans on it. And then these pieces They 
they rest underneath this uh, canopy, which we still got to make. But first, let's clean up this geo. Grab this, grab these vertex pieces. Sorry, just the bottom. Just these bottom ones. Pull them up. Get rid of that. Pull it up. And grab all these. We're just going to move these forward. Just this section. Till that lines up with that. That way. When we extrude these faces, and then bevel this. Let's also bevel this. We're just grabbing all the edge pieces here. I didn't move anything, I just beveled. Delete the history. We're gonna move this forward a bit. Just grab the, the roof part of it and this under piece. line it up and then only grab this section there so there you have that uh, that's set now I think we can get by if we're going to use this feature on this Tori without this lib, then this is what we have to go with. We can even uh, make it look like there's a screw here as if it's bolted in. So now duplicate this piece. And then, because everything's centered, and we centered it with this edge loop, if we just hold V and middle mouse snap here, we've got this double there. And that's that. Now with all those pieces modeled, we can do the UV process for this. Uh, in the next videos so I'll show you that uh, yeah I'll show you that next hopefully this was cool I mean if you want we can add this roof um, but I think I'll leave it out for now so we can get to the rest of the process and thanks for watching I hope I'm not getting too repetitive but uh, yeah if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments, and I'll help you out. Actually, let's make these little screw heads right here.
create polygon sphere. See this? Uh, if we just have a sphere, we can delete the bottom half and then press your R scale tool and just bring it down like that. Fill this. Let's double, double click the edge. Right click, shift, fill hole. Grab the face. Shift, right click, poke face. Grab this edge ring again. Shift, right click, bevel. There you have Alt Shift D to delete the history. And you have a screw cap. And it's super tiny. Nope, it was just hiding. So it's probably like this. Let's grab this rotation again, 2716, 27616. Let's turn on our wireframe. We can center it and then just move it over a bit. Bring it down and just kind of rest it on top. We will duplicate, grab this rotation, and add it to this new piece. So it is the same, same value. We can just set that on top. Duplicate this first one, bring it over, or center it with the snap. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Could make it so that yeah, that's fine. We can use uh, ambient occlusion passes to help there. Duplicate. We're just putting this in the positive same way we did the pillar and for whatever reason it's not so we'll snap it to the middle and we'll just put these here for now because for some reason it's not centered There we go. 
little bolts to hold things in place. Now you don't need them, we can just texture them in later, but that's cool for now. Let's bring these down. save this as the four for the fourth video and a lot of the stuff we're gonna have to duplicate again when a UV but I'll show you why and uh, thanks for watching I hope you have fun catching up <laughs> or maybe you're already ahead of me uh, so thanks again and bye